I am Volumnox and we are here to play Soul Zero. And I don't think it's a reference to Mass 1, but it could be. It's a game currently in beta and it's made by Condride Games, I think it is. And it's a game about colonizing Mars. So we have this uh, location in the demo, which I'm currently playing. Where we have um, <clears throat> water, methane, gypsum, clay and ore. And then there's a tutorial, a training mission. So let's just start the normal one to a normal game with your impacts. So we start out with this um, <clears throat> rugged here. And uh, we have to, of course, colonize Mars. So let's um, start with a small rover. And I don't actually know if we need a storage for food. So let's just take some supplies. Let's try and take some food and water and see if it spoils. We got a small rover and let's start up with this. <clears throat> Pretty cool animation. Didn't expect that. So my reasoning for taking um, a lot of supplies and a rover is because I suppose that's what you do when you colonize something. You send all the supplies and machinery first before you send anything else. So let's land up uh, here. Land here. <clears throat> nice and centralized. And we got our rover. And we can set that to explore, like um, did in the uh, world. So it explores, and we can see here that it finds some uh, clay. The yellow stuff is clay. And as we can see up here, finding clay could suggest a nearby water source. So maybe we will get lucky. <coughs> and I'd imagine this is basically what uh, colonizing Mars would. Hey, we did go with gypsum. Gypsum is quite research at the biology, biology lab, allowing new farming techniques to be developed. We got a sort of research system as well. I've only played the tutorial so far, so I'm in no means an expert. Hey, we found water. <coughs> cool. Found ice. A lot of ice. So, I'd imagine that. You could, um, yeah, send the rover head out a bit, then send the humans. And it does look like we still have our food and water, so it doesn't really spoil. In the next mission, you can then send a lot of supplies. Um, Maybe a forklift and a methane extractor and find some food and water. And then for the third launch you can send the, what's it called, the astronaut build up the colony. <coughs> and I'm thinking of doing a let's play when uh, the game comes out, but for this playthrough it will be a short one and the first um, a few minutes will just be this rover, and then I'll send the astronaut just to see, uh, or to show how it works. So we have found a lot of stuff. We found ore and methane, and this can be extracted in the game and used uh, to craft things on the surface of Mars instead of sending it. And to send new stuff up, we have to wait for a launch window, where uh, one launch window is 120 souls, which could translate to days. So we have a new launch window in about 60 days. It looks like one day is 10 seconds or something. That area. So we found a lot of ore and we found a lot of ice and clay. Let's see if we can find something up here. So the rover can also science. 
that we can do a spectral analysis. So here we can see it found 55% ore. So I think it's just the density of what it found. <clears throat> and right now we are just waiting for the next launch window. And we can even plan a route for this. Let's send it up like this. Around the crater. Down again. And make it end here. There we go. So that is auto exploring now and just finding those minerals and deposits. So Another thing is that we have this um, capsule here, and it holds all our materials. So right now we got storage un uh, supply units, and they'll just um, be in this capsule when we return. So we got 13 um, supplies in this one, and we'll probably send some more on the next one. And we can refuel it to send it back home. And all I think that does is clear up some space on, on the map. <clears throat> also, I imagine that it just stays here. Right, let's close down uh, the resource view and have a look at our planet, or sector on the planet. So, it has some nice geology, some good mountain ranges. Not really mountain ranges, but oh, we could do have one over here. It's nice and varied area. A few canyons or craters. There's a crater. And he is continue and our launch window is almost up. And it appears that this guy here can support two colonists or maybe it's just astronauts. Next launch is available. So, let's do it. We have this beauty here, and we will send up an astronaut. And we know that it's a 120 day launch window. We currently have 10 liters and 10 kilograms of food. So, let's send uh, more than enough. So let's send 200 of each. And some supplies. Yeah. Got one astronaut, we got 220 kilograms of food, 200 liters of water, and 80 crates of supplies. So let's do that launch. Skip the animation. And here we are again, we are down on our planet, and it doesn't really appear that there is anything here. Um, so we could actually build our base here in the middle of the resources. So let's do that. We can do a touch down here. We've got 210 liters of water and 230 kilograms of food. Let's get the colonists out. Base, do you read me? Now, what you can do now is that you can click on the capsules and take some of the resources and build a pallet like this. And that can uh, collect the resources out in the open. And if you have a forklift, which we do not, it will uh, auto build um, everything for you. So this guy is manual and he can do this. Pick up a crate. Pick up a crate. Why are you not taking your crate? There we go. And then you can build stuff. So we build a pallet and we can also build a bio tank for water. Let's do that uh, here. And the cryo tank just automatically scoops up water, apparently. So let's build that. We need one more supply. And I think that will fix our water consumption. And it appears right now we are eating more than we are drinking, which is weird. 
There we go. And we do not have any power, so we also need to build that. Base, do you read me? Base reads you loud and clear. Come on. There we go. And let's build a solar panel. Let's build it right here. There we go. So we can see that the cryo tank takes two kilowatts hour energy, and we now got. There we go. And there we have some energy. And we also have to supply some food for our guys. So let's build a four way hallway down here. And he just waddles away. Little Dougie. There we go. Man. Man. Now, this is just a hallway. The hallway itself has no armor um, because we have meteorite impacts. We have oxygen in the tank when we build that. So let's do a greenhouse. Here we go. Base, do you read me? We still have um, 134, 32 kilograms of food. Now this requires three supplies. <coughs> if this wasn't a let's try, I would probably have um, Base, do you read me? Have one more sort of supply run up to the planet, Cut. having a forklift and a methane extractor. Because I don't really think you can just put a cryo tank over it. Well, maybe you can. Maybe it's it's that simple. Man. Are you walking Man. all the way around? So when we get this up and running, we need to supply this uh, base with oxygen so that plants can thrive. There we go. So let's get. We still have five supplies in this one, and we have six supplies in this one, and a pallet with two on it. Copy. So, do it just there we Base, go. do you read me? So let's build a oxygen generator. Use tap to change this. Uh, appears that we need to build a hallway for it to be in. Let's do that. And we need more power, it seems. We are still getting water. Base, do you hey, we are getting the food now, it seems. So it doesn't need oxygen. Maybe it produces its own. Anyway, we got our food situation covered and we got our water situation covered. Copy. And we can see the water is slowly rising. So what Copy. we can do now is um, we can build some more power or we can build the oxygen generator will probably shut down for from uh, lack of power but we have to build it adjacent to a hallway so that it can pump air into the hallway so let's do that this requires two supplies we still have three here and six up here I'm just setting up a basic camp just to show off the game and then uh, waiting for the full release Base, of the game to build me? a proper um, colony. Let's do this. And you are not on route anymore. You did discover a lot of things. Now let's get you up here and explore. Need a route. Um, let's get you down here. And explore everything. There we go. And our colonists will build this. So we have a surplus of power. We got the next launch window. And in this case, we would then uh, get a forklift and Methane extractor and purely supply, uh, supplies, so something like this. This does methane extractors generate rocket fuel by extracting methane from the Martian atmosphere. These units are automated, provide a good way to refuel landers for the return trip to Earth. Fortunately, these units do not provide enough fuel for larger rockets. 
Right, so let's do that. And I believe that you get bigger rockets the further into the game you go. And with the bigger rockets, you will probably be able to uh, get colonists up to your colony and mineral extractors and what is this? Giant dozers, heavy machinery, and weather satellites. So you can probably predict the weather instead of just being casualty to it. So we got 7,000 kilograms of the max allowable weight. So let's launch this. We have only four crates, but we got some uh, good supplies with us. Now I'm just going to show um, again the basic stuff. So we will just automate the forklift and try setting up a uh, mineral ex uh, extractor in form of uh, methane. Let's build this uh, down here. Yeah, build it here. There we go. And you will build an oxygen generator. Now we got the forklift and we can click on it and tell it's automate. So it will automatically transport um, supplies to either a work, working area or to a supply storage. We now got the oxygen generator up and running and that will pump air into a corridor like this one and the oxygen will rise. And then we have to open up for the airflow. So we have now opened up for the top one into this corridor section. And we can see it's open here. And it's slowly filling with air. Let us also fill up for the food. And let's see, we had this one. Oh, we had to land it in. Um, Alright. That will have to be landed in this one, I think. Want. Maybe we can just build a. Do have anything? And it's all the way up there. So maybe we can build the cryo tank here, and uh, something magically happens and refuels landers. So let's try that. There we go. Methane. And let's build it here. Copy. And it should automatically. Yeah, there it goes. Copy. There we go. We got one power left, and it is filling up. So it has a flow rate of 26 milliliters per minute. And they refuel. Refueling halted, not enough methane. But we have to have enough methane for it to happen. Why does it sound like a lot of boots when you click on this? It sounds like a lot of people walking. It sounds a bit like uh, something from Mountain Conger. Red alert or something. Right, so we have that one. Can we take your stuff? Yeah, we can. And then you have to build a habitat for possible colonists. And we don't really have more than six, seven, eight, nine supplies. So we'll use a three. Can we refuel this now? Nope, still not. Not enough methane. I don't know how much you need. Hey, it is refueling. Yeah, it's refueling. Cool. So we have a habitat and we can open up for the air vents into the habitat. Something like that. And of course, normally it'd be smart to explore the ground beneath your colony. In this case, I've placed it. We don't have enough power. In this case, I have placed it. Um, 
pretty much in the way of nothing. If we had to continue, uh, we will build another solar panel here. Love that popping sound. Another aspect is that you have to maintain your stuff. So like this one, it's uh, dirty, so you have to clean it. So we repair it. There we go. And that should have uh, full power again. So we went from uh, minus three kilowatt hour to one, or well, minus one kilowatt hour. And that one will build the last one. And then everything should have enough. Let's just see if we can uh, take some time to refuel this the same time. We got enough, so let's launch this back into Earth. There we go. And it halted. What's happening? It just disappeared. Right, so that is the base game. From here, you would probably um, expand colony with uh, a launch area for bigger rockets so you could attract some colonists and just continue growing your barren world and taking advantage of all the resources. In any case, this is uh, where I stopped the video and I hope you enjoyed this let's try and if you want to buy the game, it's down in the description and see you next time. Bye!